In prison, everyone tries to humiliate her. But when she decides to fly off the handle, everything changes. Anna, a little girl, is playing the cello alone in her room when her abusive stepfather enters and tries to physically attack her. She pulls him away and fights him, but unfortunately, he stumbles upon something sharp. Seriously wounded in the neck, he died a few minutes later. Anna's detained and taken to the court after being accused of killing her stepfather. She claims in court that she pushed her stepfather away in order to protect herself because he was pressuring her into doing it to defend himself. But his mother speaks out against Anna and claims that her husband was a nice person in front of the judge and was consequently committed to a juvenile detention facility by the judge. The arrivals are introduced to Frank, the prison warden. The next step is to accompany Anna to her cell, where she meets Jenny. Jenny is reserved and prefers to be by herself, but she is attracted to Anna and feels the want to touch herself as she watches her drift off to sleep. Cody and his crew drag Anna into a room where they abuse her after feeling humiliated. She was seriously injured. As Anna is brought to the clinic for treatment, the doctor advises her to talk with Frank, who can help her have respect from prisoners. Anna goes to meet Frank in good faith and tells him she wants to be, be safe and secure. But Frank demands something in exchange for her security. And then understood the director's intention and she declines his offer and goes back to her cell. The notion that everyone in the prison wants to beat her up disgusts her. Jeannie makes an effort to make her feel better by praising her beauty. Anna could not resist Guinea's advances and ended up lie with her. The following day, while they are heading outdoors, Kayla stops them and threatens Anna. In a fit of rage, Anna resolves to join Cody's gang in order to defend herself. Cody, however, wants Anna to demonstrate her suitability for the gang. So she requests that Anna beat Killa. She immediately approaches Killa and places a pie on her after agreeing. Cody uses a covert camera to capture the entire altercation. Frank then punishes Anna by confining her in a room by herself for 48 hours. Anna is threatened by Frank with a month in solitary confinement if she doesn't comply with his demands. Anna is forced to give in to Frank's demands and indulges him. Now, Anna joins the gang after successfully completing Cody's assignment. He receives a welcoming present from Cody. Even Cody is unable to resist her beauty and ultimately gives in to her desires. The following day, Anna's mother pays her a visit. She continues to hold Anna responsible for her stepfather's murder and refuses to accept that he coerced her. Killa confronts Anna as she hangs out with her new group. Nonetheless, Anna has a large group and gives her all the pies she had this time. If Anna doesn't do what he demands, Frank calls and threatens her with pictures from the battle, which might boost her prison duration. Even though he disgusts Anna, she complies with his instructions, and Frank goes about his work covertly. Anna smacks Jeannie fiercely because she is angry about everything. One of the guards identifies Jeannie's lip as injured during the check, and he brings Anna to the prison warden. Anna claims that he forces her to do what he wants every time against her will, and that she is underage. That's why Frank didn't ask for anything this time for fear of divulging this information and being sanctioned by the Central Prison Administration. In a fit of rage, Frank threatens to transfer Anna to an adult prison where she would know what it is like to be jailed. Anna runs to Cody's cell out of frustration and asks for a stimulant. Cody shows his love for Anna and tells her that she is concerned about her. But Anna is indignant at this unexpected display of devotion and resolves to leave the group. As Anna witnesses females doing drugs outside, she joins them and gets an injection into her blood. As Cody notices this, she feels awful for the woman and approaches her, pleading with her to stop. But Anna wants to be left alone once again, so Cody formally excommunicates her from the gang. Tilla plans her retaliation now that Anna's by herself. 
Anna goes crazy and injects more drugs, starting a daily drug habit that has an impact on her health. Despite being under the influence of drugs, Anna defeats Skilla. Frank then returns her to Solid Airy Prison in a nude state. Anne is now wholly dependent on narcotics, and as soon as she is let go, she immediately starts using them again. But Cody attempts to stop her and she still cares about Anna. Anna, who is irate, makes a suicide threat and claims that all she wants is to be left alone. But the guard intervenes in time to stop her, and she is sent back to solitary confinement. After being without drugs for days, Anna starts to go crazy. So one day she cuts her wrists with a broken piece of the bowl. But the guard spots her in time and sends her for care right away. Anna notices many people like her who become mentally ill as a result of medicines when she was undergoing her treatment. One of the patient's addiction even cost her her life. Anna chooses to quit using drugs after she understands her error. She also requests a visit from her mother who at last feels bad about locking her up after learning the complete story. In light of this, she pledges to free her as soon as feasible. Anna meets Frank once she has healed entirely. Anna decides to offer her body in exchange for him taking everyone else away and leaving her alone. Frank agrees to the situation since it is all that matters to him. He also gives Anne a violin and instructs her to practice and he wants her to enter a talent competition. When Cody finds out, she rips off Anna's face and orders her group to attack her once more. Frank's failure to fulfill his commitment has left Anna feeling deceit. Anna then makes the decision to tell the doctor everything. But sadly Frank watches everything on one of the cameras and instructs one of the convicts to kill the doctor. Anna dazzles everyone with her cello skills during the talent event. Frank notifies Anna that he has been given a parole hearing after the program has ended. He requests Anna spend all this night eating her cherries in return. Jeannie cautions Anna not to get too enthusiastic since Frank could be deceiving her. Anna makes the decision to videotape an encounter with Frank in order to show it to the parole board members during the hearing. She requests Cody lend her his camera so she may take a video of it. Later, Anna meets Frank, who is eager to have one last sexual encounter with her. Anna is successful in capturing the deed on camera. Anna impresses everyone with her replies during the parole hearing and is ready to be released. Frank betrays her, however, and begs the group to deny Anna's plea for release on the grounds that she is a violent teenager who frequently makes trouble at the institution. Nevertheless, Anna has a backup strategy. She plays the recorded video for everyone. Frank tries to remove the footage after realizing his error. But, it is too late for him, and the cops detain him. The members of the parole board made the decision to release Anna after seeing the recording. Anna bids farewell to Cody and Jeannie after finally being released. Finally, Anna has the chance to live her ambition to be a professional cellist artist after everything she has been through in her life and to play the cello in front of a large audience.